my name is James and I'm a biomedical scientist studying here at the University of Warwick. Today I'm going to show you an experiment with plants where we're going to change the colour of a flower using science. So, we all know that in a plant the roots are the main site for water absorption but we also know that the flower and the leaves also need water. So that means there must be some sort of transport system to get the water to these areas. And that's exactly what there is. Through openings in the surface of the plant, water can evaporate a bit like a puddle on a sunny day, which pulls water from the bottom of the plant to these areas. This process is called transpiration. But how do we prove this is going on? And how do we know which direction it's going on in? That's what we're going to show today. If we add food colouring to water at the bottom of the stem. Transpiration will cause the food colouring to be pulled up the plant and then will change the colour of our flower. So today we're going to undertake an experiment to prove that transpiration is going on and then by the end of it you'll have a flower to give to that special someone of your colour of choice. So, for this experiment you will need some flowers some different food colourings A selection of cups that are the same. Some scissors. And a large tub. You may wish also to have a ruler and a marker pen. These aren't essential. It may also be advisable have some kitchen roll on hand in case of a spillage. So, in this experiment, first thing to do is fill up your tub with water. Step two is fill each of your cups up with the same amount of water. If the cup has a mark on it, you're able to fill it up all to the same mark. If not, take a marker pen and ruler and mark them all to the same height. Now, Add some food colouring to each cup of water. Try and add roughly the same amount. Green. Black. Red, and pink. Now 
make sure you put the lids back on firmly as it will make a mess if you don't move up. Then taking your plant and scissors, cut near the bottom of the plant, cut off a single flower and place straight into the top of water. Then, cutting under the water at an angle, cut the stem, pinch, and place in the food colouring. So, the reason you place in the water and then cut at an angle is because air bubbles get in the stem preventing the plant from sucking up the water and transporting it to the petals. As you cut the flower, you may see some air bubbles released. Making sure you pinch it as it goes across. The experiment should then be left for between four hours and three days until an effect can be seen. Place the experiments in different conditions and test whether this leads to different results. An example, in sunlight or in a dark area. So here you can see the results from our transpiration colour changing flower experiment. You can see a clear difference between the colour of the pink flower and the green flower. Parts of the flower are visibly pink. There are parts of the flower where the food colouring has been particularly strongly uptaken. So, Today we've proved transpiration. We've shown that water flows through a plant and we've shown the direction that it goes from the bottom at the stem to the top. In the underneath of the flower, you can see clear pink lines which show the tubes of which the food colouring and the water flows through. Now I'm confident with a little bit more time, these flowers will continue to get more and more colour eventually making the perfect gift through science.